at our Super Frankie Lampard, a high side. Unacceptable run of results. <laughs> Haven't won a game since I've been back. Get my bags packed, 345. But no, serious, I'm sacked. Okay, listen, Todd, it's absolutely fine, mate. I only came here to get beat by Wolves so I can help relegate Everton and finish my mission. <laughs> but no, serious, take care, Todd. Hello, Super Frankie Lampard. You're Todd Bowley. You, what do you want now? You want to offer me the Chelsea job on an interim basis? No, but serious, you really are an American bar pot, aren't you? Roy, two games. 314 shots and seven goals. Surely you're now safe from relegation. Well, I'm not sure what relegation is, but I'm here to win the Premier League. That's why I'm here, so I'm not, I don't think people realise that I am actually the coin in Pep Guardiola. That's right, the only thing he's got that I haven't is 7,500 trophies, a very shiny head and some ridiculously jog cardigans. I mean, I'm 116 years of age and even I wouldn't wear them cardigans. They're absolutely horrid, aren't they? But um, look, it's been a very good day today. I've got one thing I want to say to the Leeds manager. Let's be having ya! Harry, clearly friends in VAR, throwing yourself on the ground against Everton on Monday, and yet again, horrendous VAR decisions in your favour today against Brighton. You really are big, horrible, stinking cheats, aren't you? Yeah, obviously. Um, I honestly thought we deserved to win today against Brighton. Um, you know, they only had 274% of the ball. Uh, we had the rest. But today I've got to say, massive shout out to our two new signings, uh, Stuart Atwell and Howard Webb. Oh, they are absolutely outstanding. Brilliant players. And, you know, obviously the two of them have done more for this club than Dan Juba and Richarlison. They really have. And they're only on five grand a week in a nice little white envelope. Uh, really lovely guys. And I can't wait to catch up with them tonight at the annual referee's dinner. Uh, we've got a table. Just great lads. And, uh... VAR, thought they were great. Uh, the fellas on VAR uh, today, uh, Teddy Sheringham, Mozzie Ardiles and Ledley King, I thought they did a great job. So, great win today against Brigton. Yeah, obviously, big stinking day to yeah. Jürgen, what a sensational advertising for the Premier League. Great comeback against Arsenal. You must be really happy with that. Yeah, OK. Yeah. We know that it's a good game, OK? Yeah, cool, boom. But again, okay, I tell you things that are not cool. The linesman has tried to be head Robo. That is not cool. And then to help Man City to win the Premier League, not cool. From the boys, again, and again, something that's not cool. We now fight with Brentford <laughs> and Brighton for top 19. That is not cool. So yeah, again, I got to say, not a cool day from the boys. <sighs> Howard Webb, another pathetic weekend from VAR. You all just need to go away. Do you have anything you would like to say? Well, yes, the first thing I'd like to apologise for, if that's OK, is, is the way that I'm going to talk. Because obviously this is all scripted, and um, obviously uh, only human beings make rational decisions. I'm not a normal person, and we're not normal in VAR. So I'm sorry that I'm talking like this. It's off a script, of course. Firstly, I'd just like to apologise to Brighton. We really are sorry to Brighton. Of course, it should have been a penalty, but you've got to realise that we've only got 756 cameras, and we've only got 15 officials in the VAR studio at one time. And obviously we only had about 20 minutes to see the incident 416 times so it was a very difficult decision for us I'd like to apologise to Brighton uh, obviously we've apologised to Brighton 15 times before and just while I'm here uh, I'd like to apologise to Brighton for next week's mistake that we're guaranteed to make as well but look I've said I'm sorry we're really sorry the PGMOL you know we're only human beings you know a lot of people would question that but I'm really really sorry anyway listen I'm going round to Harry Kane's for a scram I hope everyone's okay and uh, I'll see you later once again I apologise you never walk alone, walk on, walk on, with a hope in your heart, and you never walk alone, walk on, walk on. I want to thank my friend Jürgen, thank you so much Jürgen for helping me and Man City to win another Premier League. You do me a big favour, and next season I want to be a big Liverpool fan and support the mighty race in the Europa Conference. I sit on my couch, I have a nice glass of red wine, and I watch Liverpool in Macedonia tea times, OK? You'll never work alone. Work on. Work on. Well, VAR needs to get in the bleeding pain, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yes, they refuse to bet the current of their convictions. And with Howard Webb, it's the blind leading the bleeding blind. The bald eagle maniac out of all evil bald people are prefer bleeding Voldemort. At least that guy backs the courage of his convictions, although I don't agree with him killing 11 you know, wizards that leaves himself in a slightly invidious position. But referees, I don't like them. They're attention-seeking, absolute moronic burks in the midst of a midlife crisis. Takes one to no one. And you look at Mike Dean, who's a referee, and Mike Dean, he gives Uncle Nobeds a bad name, doesn't he?
Yeah, that's what it is, that's what it is. The absolute bugs, we need to get rid of these bleeding herberts. They are very atrocious refereeing. Leave yourself in an invidious position. Back the courage of your convictions, Web, you complete and utter Herbert. Now you listen up very carefully, upside down head. Right, I've had enough now. Playing Everton today, and I should be playing. Yes, yeah, so I'm absolutely fuming. Why aren't I playing? Yeah, I know I was on the pitch in the starting lineup, but it was Everton and Ellis Sims. I might as well have been on the bloody bench. I had nothing to do. I want to play in the proper game, so. Oh, hello, Mr. Chairman. Um, I'd just like to say there, I'm so sorry to see you got beat at home by Bournemouth. <coughs> No, nothing there. I just, I just farted. Um, no, no. As I said before, you know, it was really upsetting to me. <laughs> no, there. But listen, best of luck for the future. Oh, you've got a new manager, have you? Okay, someone better than me. Who is it? <laughs> Jesse Marshall. <laughs> I tell you what, chat poop get banged or bang him fifteen times in the first ten minutes. He chats that much poop. But anyway. Enjoy your slow death in life in the championship. You have no character and you're not a beautiful human being. Hello, is that Leicester City? Gives a job. Okay. Hello, is that Nottingham Forest? Gives a job. Hello, is that Bournemouth? Gives a job. Oh, is that West Ham gives a job? Hello, is that security on Greg's in town gives a job? We just want three sausage rolls for life, so...